welcome to the show, Chris and Francesca from Made by Mortals. Thank oh. you. Chris and Francesca, what do you do at Made by Mortals? Right, well, uh, I'm a creative facilitator, so my job is to do all of the sessions to sort of stimulate the material and the ideas, and I do drama activities and things like that, but I also write some episodes as well, so do some writing as well. My okay. title is Artist in Residence, which um, which does sound very grand, doesn't it? It means that I write, tend to write the podcast, some of the podcast episodes. We've got two programmes, so I don't write all of them. There's quite a lot going out. And um, yeah, sometimes I act as you do, don't you? Oh yeah, I'm into them as well. Yeah, How about that. Yeah, so we have to, it's quite <laughs> varied and fun. Yeah. Thank you both. Right. What is Jasper's story about? Well, Jasper's story is about the experience of a young bloke who has who goes to the hospital. He has. Um, he has a fear of the hospital and he has um, a learning difficulty too. So mm -hmm. it's quite a lot for him, the experience. And the so Jasper's story is about trying to communicate that to the listeners, how hard it is for mm -hmm. him, what that means for him. Um, yeah. Yeah, so showing what happens to someone um, when the support's not quite right or, you know, to sort of mm, the, the story yeah. of their life, but with the purpose mm. of, like, people hearing it and hopefully it affecting some change. Like the barriers of change and things that need to be done and things, yeah. yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. How did you create the story? Well, that was my favourite bit, actually. So creating the story was working with everyone at McIntyre, so... I really enjoyed that. So the, we came together in Zoom sessions and then we did loads of drama stuff that stimulates the work about creating a character. So once we'd yeah. done that, we sort of used your lived experience and you were all really generous with that. And that was great, like giving your lived experience that then we could put into the character. So it made it really real and accessible. So um, that's how we did it, through drama sessions. And then obviously Francesca was there as the writer to take all of your ideas down. I don't know if you want to... Yeah, that's it, yeah. And, and there were so many ideas that we kind of had the outline for the story yeah. very quickly. Do you remember? Yes, I do. Batty Catty. I remember Batty Catty. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was my that's my favourite line, Sue Ling, when you give me that in there. Is he yeah, that line? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Right. What did you like most about working on Jasper's story? Well, I've sort of already said answered that, I suppose. But mine was the oh, sessions. Yeah. Working together with, with you lot on the Zooms and what you know, seeing it develop from there, using your ideas spending that time mm. together creatively that was my favorite bit but also I think being together at the conference uh, yesterday yes it was yeah. so good to hear it out loud for the room full of people who hadn't experienced it before and I was saying to Francesca actually I knew how important and great it was and all the work you'd put in and effort as a group but hearing it mm. out loud with other people it really made me think about the story we were telling and I think that um yeah all your ideas have made that really powerful yeah. It's really good to say, Paul. It's really good. I was there. Oh, did you hear me speak? <laughs> yeah. I had to speak. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think I'm with Chris. Like that that was my favourite bit. The, the the sessions were so imaginative and yeah. The story and, and everybody you know, it came up during the sessions that people wanted to make something that was that was musical because a lot of a lot of you all were into to musicals and and I've never yeah. written a musical before, not in that kind of context. And and I know it's not a it's not a stereotypical mu musical or anything, but that kind of imagination and the kind of although it's a really serious story, it's really joyful. Like for me, listening to it, I love it. It's dead uplifting. I think even though it's telling yeah. you serious, at the end you see the significance of it and you see that it it's isn't yeah. happy days, but. I, I, yeah, I I enjoyed writing it, but mostly enjoyed the sessions. And I absolutely loved the day we all got together and recorded it. 
because that was just oh, that was so fab. Fun. I loved that studio. That was amazing. And I said to Chris, have I finished yet? No, there's more to do. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm so busy. Yeah, we were, I was so sorry. What are you right about going? No, no, more, more, more. <laughs> you are not I, I said to yet. Chris. Right. Ceiling, what was your favourite part about the whole experience? What did you enjoy the most? Well, actually, when I first when I first started about Made by Mortals, I enjoyed doing the like the Zoom discussions. What we what their plan was going to be like, and what we're going to be doing, like the plan and stuff, and the bit about where where we have fun, where we had to imagine as us as a was it a superhero or something? Yeah. And we had to dress up as a superhero and funny drama things that I enjoyed really good. But it's one of those projects I won't forget. It's going to be so memorable. And every time I listen to it, I'll just think of you all. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> right, next question. Why do you think this kind of work is important? For me, it's really important because it puts people in the forefront of what you're trying to do and the message you're giving. So even though we created a character, it was made of everyone's lived experience. And I think what's really mm. important about doing this is it makes people think about people. So it's not yeah. just like a load of statistics on a on a PowerPoint. No. There's a real PowerPoint. People, there's a person yeah. to think mm -hmm. about. And I think, mm. obviously, aside from hopefully, it can change things or at least start some conversations, I hope, about changing things. I think having a person at the centre of it for me was yeah. why it's important. And it's authentic. Mm because you know it's not just my imagination as a writer who's never experienced it it comes mm. from the truth of, of people's people's experiences and, and lives um and and I think a bit like what I said before I think it's important because as a listener if this experience isn't yours you are able to step directly into those shoes because that world is created for you mm. Right, next question. Who came up with the Made by Mortals title? Well, that'll be Paul and Andy, won't it? Yeah. Uh, so they founded the company. I think Andy did the music with you, you might have met, and then Paul, you will have met at the studio. Um, but I think it's because... Oh, yeah, it, Andy, the, yeah. 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 It's the, I think the name come about because it's made by people, for people, so mm -hmm. we're all mortal. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 By people, for people. 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 <laughs> mortal people. Yeah. <laughs> okay right next question how have how have you worked together and what do you do before that oh so we've worked together well it's a bit funny actually me and Francesco are both actors and we've worked together or been or been in similar productions together before we worked together here actually so we've yeah. worked together that way and then we've worked together here what nearly two years now I suppose I'm yeah. here about that yeah yeah and how do we work together we we tend to work together on most projects, don't we? Yeah, pretty much. So we, the same way we worked with you, Chris will mm -hmm. lead the the um the workshop, like the kind of idea generating bit. Yeah, and just mm -hmm. grab it all and and try and bring it together. But it, there's constant collaboration, isn't there? You yeah. know, I'll bounce ideas off Chris just to see if I'm remembering what we talked about and if I'm getting the right gist. And then same here, like if I'm, we sometimes we write our kids' podcast on Cherry Adventures and we're always like, what do you think about that? Does that work? Or we, yeah, we bounce off each other a yeah. lot and it's great. Yeah. I'd like to thank you for uh, Chris and Francesca for coming on the Suli show. I know, I'm happy to be thank here. You. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. Should we take a picture soon? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>